A poet once said, thousands have lived without love, not one without water. Water remains a basic need to any human being and other animals. The scarcity of it is a disaster, a deficiency that squeezes away life. Eburu Mbaruk Ward in Nakuru County is one of the largest wards in the county with a population of more than 33,000 people. It is home to the 87 square kilometer Eburu Forest, part of the larger Mau Forest. Water scarcity is a nightmare here. Um, boy, ni changamoto kubwa sana actually ni changamoto ambayo uh, imekuweka kwa muda yale maji ambayo yanatumika hapa ni yale maji ya mvuke inayotokana na fumaroles however these residents living at eburu shopping center have since time immemorial employed science to get water for drinking and for general use in their homes the area is best known for its volcano oldoinyo eburu located nearby and which is still active before, people used to consume water from Lake Naivasha. Several other villages depended on this freshwater lake. In recent years, however, water has been polluted by agricultural waste. Muto size in Adani ko karibu kilometer kumi na mbili. Pandei, pandei Adani ni kilometer karibu hamsini. To obtain drinking water, they had to find other solutions. They can't dig wells because the volcanic soils are loose and the wells could collapse quickly. They turned to geysers. The geyser is a hot water spring that gushes out at high temperature and pressure, producing steam. And to exploit it, the populations manufacture exhaust pipes that lead to a huge elevated drum that collects hot water. This is then cooled by a metal tube. Watu walipata hii ujuzi, wanatengeneza hiyo drum, wanatengeneza hiyo moshi inapitia kama, inatengeneza kama hile venye shitanga huwe inatengenezo. Kitu ya kwanza kabisa, tunachimbua hile three feet ya shimo, alafu tunatafuta pipe kidogo, alafu juu ya hiyo pipe tunatengeneza drum kubwa, alafu tunatengeneza mfereji inakuwa extended. Sasa hile steam itakuja inapitia hile kwa, kwa, hile, kwa hile mfereji, inakuja kwa hile, kwa hile drum, it is a practice that did not start today. Uh, wazazi wetu hii area walikuwa wameitenga pale pote kuna hii kitu hawangeweza kupea mtu mmoja juu wewe ukajenga hii kitu juu ya hii kitu uh, ukishika ukiwa peke yako unasa chukuu katase wale watu wengine from a distance Esther Nyambura another resident here is approaching she is carrying two jerrycans in her hands like the rest of the residents she has come to fetch water which she says is clean and safe for use Eh, inatusaidia sana. Juu kitegeneza hivi, unatumia kwa kunywa, kwa sababu ni maji safi, unaweza tumia kwa kufua, hata kupea wanyama na kuwaga sawa. Mm. Okay, ile maji ya likinaivasa, iko sawa, iko, iko treated. Kuna tawa huko juu, kusaidia eburu, kuna police, kuna tawa. Huko inenda inatengenezwa, inakuwa treated before ipampiwe. But it is a mini steam in a kuaga ni piwa, Kwasababu in a tokashini kiwa moto, na unajua kitio te ambayo ni moto, haina haina bacteria sene sakuham. The residents are hailing efforts to conserve Eburu forest, as the forest has a direct connection to this own water source. Mustuni lichangia zaidi. Kwasababu mustuni kwa gunakati mustuni in kuna choma maka jua kazidi area hii. The community owns the project and it is also used to raise some revenue. 20 liters of water is sold at 10 shillings. Na vijana wa hapa hawa wadogo wadogo. Wakati wako marishoni, huwa wanaitumia kushomea sweet potatoes, viazi, na hata maindi wakati imeiva ikiwa bishibishi. This innovation does not just benefit members of the public. 
It is a technology that has been tapped to create a water point for wild animals within the forest, a project that has been spearheaded by Rhino Ark, a charitable trust that operates in the region. Ikigia kwa pipe, inapigwa na upepo. Ikisha pigwa na upepo, ina condense, kama, kama vile shangai na tegeneso. So, alafu, ina telemuka, kuna mahali ya baya tumendegeneza uh, kama marate kidogo, ina, ina poa hapo kidogo, kutoka hapo, ina telemuka, ina ingia kwa marate kubwa ya, ya wanyama. These residents of Eburu Center, that is in Eburu Mbaruk Ward, Nakuru County, are stopping at nothing in their bid to ensure they are getting water. And they are employing creativity in their own special ways to ensure they are getting sufficient water for their livelihoods. Sakali Dalmas, KTN News, Nakuru.